Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on acromioclavicular joint injury. An acromioclavicular joint injury, otherwise known as a shoulder separation, is a traumatic injury to the acromioclavicular joint, with disruption of the acromioclavicular ligaments and, or coracoclavicular ligaments. Diagnosis is made with bilateral focused shoulder radiographs to assess for a C and CC interval widening. Treatment is immobilization or surgical reconstruction. Depending on patient activity levels, degree of separation, and degree of ligament injury. For epidemiology, it is a common injury making up 9% of shoulder girdle injuries. And it is more common in males and athletes. It is often caused by a direct blow to the shoulder, or often sustained while falling onto the shoulder. Patients will present with pain usually over a C joint, and the pain can also be referred to the trapezius. On physical exam, there is lateral clavicle or AC joint tenderness. Abnormal contour of the shoulder compared to contralateral side. For stability assessment, horizontal anterior posterior stability evaluates AC ligaments, vertical superior inferior stability evaluates CC ligaments. There are also AC joint exacerbation tests, like the O'Brien's test. Where superficial pain localized to AC joint is suggestive of AC joint pathology and deep pain is suggestive of a slap lesion. We should do shoulder radiographs to evaluate the patient's condition. The recommended views are a P view, lateral view, and a Zanka view. This picture shows how to take a Zanka view of the shoulder. Rockwood classification is used to classify ACJ injuries. Type 1 is AC sprain and normal CC, with a normal radiograph. Type 2 is torn AC and sprain CC, with AC horizontal instability. Type 1 and 2 are treated with conservative management. Type 3 is both AC and CC torn, treatment depends on situation, controversial for conservative versus operative. Type 4 to 6 are more serious conditions requiring surgery. For conservative treatment in type 1 and 2, brief immobilization with early motion can be done, whereas operative treatment is ORIF. Indications are type 4 to 6. Acute type 3 injuries in laborers, elite athletes, or patients with cosmetic concerns and chronic type 3 injuries that failed conservative management. For complications, residual pain at AC joint occurs in 30-50% to 50 of cases. AC arthritis is more common with surgical management than with non-operative treatment. Hardware failure, such as CC screw breakage or pullout, and coracoid fracture, which can occur with coracoid tunnel drilling. That's all for this video. Thank you.